What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimai Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best iOS 8.3 compatible Cydia tweaks. So iOS 8.3 was recently jailbroken by the Taiji team, and I do have a full tutorial on how to jailbreak linked in the description down below. And since then, you know, people have been struggling with finding good tweaks that do actually work on iOS 8.3. So I thought I'd round up, you know, five of the best ones for you. And initially, after the jailbreak was released, Cydia Substrate, which is the utility that basically all tweaks rely on in order to function, it was broken. However, we did recently see a Taiji untether update in Cydia, which did fix the issue, and now we're able to run tweaks on our device. So, you know, with this new opportunity to now install tweaks, again, I'm going to be showing you guys some great tweaks to install on 8.3. And just before we start, you know, go into Cydia if you haven't already, go to changes, make sure you refresh, and install any updates available in here, again, just to ensure that, you know, your tweaks do work. It's the Taiji update, and, you know, everything else as well, just make sure everything's up to date in order for these tweaks to work. And now let's get right into it. So the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called CC Settings for iOS 8. It's available in Cydia for free. And basically what this tweak does is it basically allows you to customize control center. So as you can see right here up at the top, this is what it allows you to control the control center toggles. So as you can see, it basically just adds tons of new ones as you can see here and we can scroll through them like this. And in the settings, it allows you to rearrange them and remove some. You could pretty much control the toggle section of your control center completely. So go into settings on your device after you've installed the tweak, scroll down to CC settings and go in there. And as you can see right here, here is basically the include section. It has all these, and then there's do not include. And you could just grab on these little handles and drag them down, and now that will not include. And of course, you can rearrange the order as well. Let's say I wanted my um, kill background toggle to be all the way at the top. I could just drag it like this to the top of include, and now, um, as you can see, there you go right there. Kill background apps is the first thing that shows up. Let's go back into settings now. Now there's some other options up at the top here. As you can see, you can customize the toggles per line so you can make it more or less. For example, four. As you can see right here, you know, there's less toggles per line. And there's some other nice options up here as well. For example, we have kill music. This basically uh, pertains to the kill background toggle. So basically, if you use the kill background toggle to kill all your apps, you could determine whether it's going to kill an app that's playing music. Then you also have your whitelist. And this is also for kill background. So you could uh, basically go in here and check off certain apps that you don't want to be killed, even if you use the kill all command. Once again, this is called CC settings. It's available in Cydia for free. You can basically completely uh, customize the toggle section of your uh, control center. You could add new options. You know, here's respring, for example. And again, there's tons of other things you could do as well. And again, it's called CC settings. It's available in Cydia for free. And next we have Hide Me 8 Lite. It's available in Cydia for free. And basically this tweak will allow you to hide various aspects of iOS and it has various options and you can really get the look that you want. So if you go into settings on your device after you've installed it and open up Hide Me 8, make sure the tweak's enabled and then just go into configuration and there's tons of areas here that you could basically remove elements from. You may have noticed that I don't have my status bar right now and that's just one of the things that I like to do with this tweak. Basically I just go into status bar and then I disable all these things. In my opinion it just looks cleaner like that. And I know you're not really getting the information, but you know, there's other ways you could get it, for example, on the lock screen, you know, stuff like that. And again, it's up to you. You know, personally, I just like that area clean, but again, it's really up to you what you want to do with this tweak. You know, you could do various things with it, hide various things. And hanging back into the settings, let's just open up a few other things. For example, control center, as you can see, you could hide things inside control center. And same thing with the lock screen, as you can see right here, you could hide, you know, various details from the lock screen. It's just a very detailed tweak, as you can see, lock screen blur, uh, the screen bounce, the time and the status bar. There's just tons of things you could do. You could cu create custom slide to unlock text, no notification center, as you see, there's various things in here. Now, I do want to warn you, as you can see where it says stock apps here, everything below stock apps, so all of this right here, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work with iOS 8.3. If I tap on any of these things, as you can see, everything's just grayed out. So stick to this area up here, you know, control center, lock screen, notification center, springboard, and status bar. And it's just about it for this tweak. Once again, it's called Hide Me 8 Lite. It's available in Cydia for free. All right, and next up, we have Zeppelin. This one's available in Cydia for free. 
and this tweak's very famous. It allows you to change your carrier text in the top left of your screen to an image. As you can see right here, I have a little Apple logo there. And if you go into settings on your device and open up the Zeppelin preferences, as you can see right here, basically you could go to theme and you have various themes to choose from. You know, Apple again is the one that I have set right now, but you could just tap on any of them. And as you can see, it takes an effect immediately. It's just very crisp and you know, everything looks very nice. There's Nike and it just looks like it fits in very well. Uh, let's try Windows, there you go. And if you want to entirely disable the tweak, you could just hit the toggle right there and then it'll disable as you can see right there. Now also, if you just want to use this for carrier text to change the text, you could do that as well. You just hit carrier text up here, then you just put in whatever you want to put in, hit save, and then disable this toggle. And then as you can see, it's going to um, just affect the text. But again, the primary function of this is to you know basically give you the ability to change that logo at the top. And once again, it's available in Cydia for free. The tweak is called Zeppelin. And next up, we have Grid Switcher. This one's available in Cydia for free, and this tweak does exactly what the name suggests. As you can see, it makes your app switcher into a grid design as opposed to the normal one that you see. So it works very well. As you can see, everything's laid out perfectly, and it works the exact same way, you know, when you switch applications, as you can see, you know, everything's very fast. Again, you don't lose anything. Again, it just turns it into a grid. And of course, killing applications is the exact same. As you can see, you just swipe up, then everything comes into place. Again, it's very well designed, and it just looks very well. And if you go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see a grid switcher, you could go in here, make sure the tweak's enabled, and then you have some other options down here to configure it to your liking. Now, I only have one complaint with this tweak, and it's that if you have the contacts in the app switcher enabled, as you can see right there, it doesn't really play well with that. You know, I have no recent contacts on this device, but as you can see how it kind of cuts off the text right there, and the same thing goes with the bubbles, uh, you know, it doesn't really play well with, again, the contact bubbles in the app switcher. I just enabled it through here. However, if you do want to turn that off, you could just go over to mail contacts calendars and then... Um, show an app switcher, then you could just disable this feature. Again, that's one small problem with the tweak. It doesn't play well with the contacts in the app switcher, but you know, if you disable these things, as you can see, everything looks great and there's no problem at all. And once again, the tweak's called Grid Switcher. It's a very nice tweak. I really like the way that it looks. You know, it's available in Cydia for free. And last but not least, we have Kill Background 8. This one's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak does exactly what the name suggests as well. It allows you to kill all the applications in your app switcher with one single tap. As you can see here at the bottom of my app switcher, I have this little skull. And if I tap on it, as you can see, it just kills everything in the app switcher just like that. Very fast, very efficient, and it works great. Now, if you go into settings on your device after you install it, it will not be enabled by default. So you want to make sure you go in here and make sure you enable it. As you can see, you have some options here as well. Something I recommend enabling is auto close switcher so it just brings you right back to the home screen, you know, it'll just completely close the switcher. You could also enable big buttons which basically looks like this, as you can see there are larger buttons on both sides. Um, and you also have these kill music options, this is very similar to the CC settings option, basically if you use you know, this tweak to kill all the apps, you could basically have it so it keeps the music app open or it doesn't. Uh, make sure it's on if you do want it to kill the music. Then you could also exclude applications, same thing. You know, Here you could exclude apps from being killed uh, when you're using this tweak and some other settings as you can see down here. And it's just a very good tweak, you know, being able to quickly kill out all the applications in your app search just with one tap like this, and it works very well. Once again, it's available in Cydia for free. It's called Kill Background 8. And it just about wraps up all the tweaks that I want to show you guys in this video. If you did find some good tweaks to install on your devices, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also, be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all this will be linked in the description down below. And if you want to see more tweaks, make sure to subscribe. You know, I do have a series called Tweak Recap. Each week I upload a brand new video showing you guys, you know, brand new tweaks to install on your jailbroken devices. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in seeing those. And with all that being said, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.